Imagine a place where your soul and imagination can take flight. Where you can experience the rugged, remote beauty of coastal landscapes virtually untouched over thousands of years. This place does exist. In the Outer Banks of North Carolina, you can realize your dream of a perfect seaside vacation. Learn to hang glide from the high above where the first man-made flight took place. Climb to the top of a lighthouse and drink in the breathtaking views. Have some fun for the whole family one night at a family adventure park. Be sure to watch till the end as we uncover all the hidden gems that can only be experienced on North Carolina's Outer Banks. The initial obvious draw to the Outer Banks are the miles and miles of seemingly untouched beaches. Since the Outer Banks are barrier islands, separating the Atlantic Ocean from the rest of the mainland, at times you can feel as though you are in another world. Visitors can take various ferries to get to the Outer Banks, and the sight of land may slip away for a bit. Yes, the Pamlico Sound is so expansive that at certain points you will feel as though you are in the open ocean. Not to fear though, the Outer Banks are just ahead, ready to welcome you to the ultimate beach vacation. Some of the best beaches along the Outer Banks are within the Cape Hatteras National Seashore. If you are looking for a pristine coastline that is virtually deserted, even in summer, then this is your destination. Cape Hatteras Seashore stretches for about 70 miles and has many beach access points along Highway 12, some with ADA-compliant ramps, restrooms, and paved parking lots. The first, or most northerly beach within the National Seashore is Coquina Beach. If you are looking for a great beach on the sound side of the Outer Banks, where the waves are significantly reduced, head up to Jockey's Ridge State Park and hike past the dunes to West Soundside Road, where you will find a great beach where the water is super shallow. This is a great beach for families. Those wanting to bring their four-legged friends should definitely check out Duck Beach. One of the most popular attractions on the Outer Banks are the five lighthouses. Visitors can climb to the top of Hatteras Lighthouse at 208 feet, which is the largest brick lighthouse in North America. There is also the Bodie Lighthouse at 156 feet, whose beam reaches a staggering 19 miles. Lighthouse fans can also check out the Roanoke Marshes Lighthouse, which is on Roanoke Island, as well as the Currituck Beach and the Ocracoke Island Lighthouse. All of these lighthouses offer travelers a great overview of the lighthouse industry and their importance in the safety of the waters off of the Outer Banks. One of the most unique places that is definitely a must-see when visiting the Outer Banks is Jockey's Ridge State Park. Among the most impressive features of this park is the 100-foot high sand dunes, which constantly change shape due to the wind. These are the tallest sand dune systems in the eastern United States. Popular activities on the dunes include sandboarding, kite flying, and hang gliding. In the warmer months, water, sunscreen, and shoes are an absolute must, as the temperature on the dunes heats up pretty quickly and there's absolutely no shade. History buffs, aviation enthusiasts, or really anyone who is interested in planes and flying should definitely check out the Wright Brothers National Memorial. In Kill Devil Hills, this is the place where Orville and Wilbur Wright first took flight on December 17, 1903. After touring the visitor center, walk out onto the field and visit the actual spot where the plane first left the ground all those years ago. Come and see a true national treasure in Kill Devil Hills. Animal lovers will be in awe of the awesome North Carolina Aquarium on Roanoke Island. Housing an impressive array of sea creatures like jellyfish, shark, eels, and rays, the aquarium celebrates the preservation and conservation efforts reached to educate the public. The aquarium also offers fishing and crabbing experiences, as well as a kayak trip around Roanoke Island. Many people like to keep a journal or some record of their travels. The Little Red Mailbox of Hope will help you do just that and connect with other travelers. Located in Keel Devil Hills, this red mailbox is located on a boardwalk going out to the beach. Check out the various messages of love and encouragement as well as leave a special note for someone else to find. The Outer Banks is also home to one of the most well-known and well-loved outdoor dramas in the eastern United States. The Lost Colony outdoor drama is based on one of North Carolina's most storied true mysteries. In 1587, 117 English settlers landed on Roanoke Island to begin a new settlement. Three years later, when British ships arrived to resupply the colony, 
the colonists were nowhere to be found. Come and experience the power and drama as over 100 actors bring the show to life. Still can't get your fill of history? Follow Highway 12 to the end of Hatteras Island and you will find a large building that is home to the Graveyard of the Atlantic Museum. The shallow waters off the Outer Banks have destroyed numerous ships over the past 500 years. These ships are still present where they went down, but different dive expeditions have recovered various artifacts from the ships and placed them in museums like this one. Included in the Graveyard of the Atlanta Museum is the bell and other artifacts from the ghost ship Carol Deering. The ship washed ashore some years ago and it was completely empty of passengers or crew. They were never recovered. Everyone loves to find a great restaurant when traveling. At Bass Night's Lone Cedar Cafe, located in Nags Head, people come for freshly prepared local seafood and also the residents of the restaurant. Ricky and Lucy are a pair of ospreys that a few years ago built a nest just outside one of the restaurant's windows. You can come to Bass Night's Lone Cedar and watch Ricky and Lucy care for their young. This is every bird watcher's and animal lover's dream come true. Ocracoke Island is considered one of the most remote islands in all the Outer Banks. Visitors are rewarded with incredible shopping, dining, accommodations, and attractions. One such attraction is the Blackbeard exhibit and pirate specialty shop. Edward Teach, who went by the name Blackbeard, was a famous pirate who called the Outer Banks home. The museum showcases his life of pirating, and the adjacent store sells over 1,000 items of all things related to pirates. This is truly a destination for all pirate lovers. While Jockey's Ridge State Park has massive dunes and all kinds of different activities, an activity that your whole family will enjoy is hang gliding. Join Kitty Hawk kites as they teach you the fundamentals of this incredible sport. You can experience the incredible feeling of flying over the dunes, all while tethered to your guide. Visitors who cannot get enough of the ocean should definitely experience one of the many boat tours that the Outer Banks offers. Join local scientists on Nags Head Dolphin Watch tours as they further their research into these incredible animals. At Norbank Sailing and Water Sports, you are in the driver's seat as you rent boats, stand up paddle boards, kayaks, canoes, or inner tubes. You can also book a parasailing adventure here. Captain Johnny's Dolphin Tours is another great cruise, offering guests of all ages a great two hours of exploration of the waters off the Outer Banks and Manio. For a great time in the water that is not on the beach, visitors should definitely make a visit to H2OBX Water Park. This classic water park has it all, from fast drop slides to a lazy river. Explore all that there is to see and do in this incredible water park. Corolla, in the northern part of the Outer Banks, is home to various wild horses. Join Bob's Wild Horse Adventure Tours for an up-close look at these incredible animals from the safety of a Jeep or a four-wheel drive truck that goes up and down the beach. For those looking for more excitement when they exit the beach, they should head up to Kill Devil Hills. This town is home to the Paradise Fun Park, a great adventure space for the whole family that features a go-kart track, a mini golf course, bumper cars, and a massive arcade. There is something for everyone at the Paradise Fun Park. From wild horses and aquariums, to zooming around a go-kart track, to sitting quietly on a practically deserted beach in the high summer heat. The Outer Banks really does have it all. Come and stay and see all that this incredible seaside playground has to offer.